Ladies and gentlemen, school is in session. Prepare yourselves for the school of Croc. Good morning, crocodilies. We got a special treat for you guys today. Today is going to be an animal that you find all the time in the state of Florida, as well as other places in the I think everywhere. Do they live everywhere? Yeah, they live everywhere. Um, so we're gonna show you Jimmy. Jimmy is super cute. You guys are gonna fall in love with them. Rachel's gonna take it from me now. And we're gonna give Jimmy his breakfast treats. Good morning, Rachel. Hello, this is my raccoon, <sighs> Jimmy. Jimmy. Hi, oh, Jimmy. Look at the camera. Is he in a grate? Look at that. Don't be camera shy. <laughs> Jimmy is so cool. Grapes He's, are Jimmy's favorite. Food. I know gators get all the press, but Jimmy's one of my favorite animals here at Gatorland. I love him because he looks like one of my favorite superheroes. I could not tell you who that is. Oh, no. Look who at is that. it? Who's your favorite superhero? Rocket. He knows oh, Rocket Raccoon. Yeah, I yeah, love yeah, Rocket. Yeah, Rocket. Yep. He knows I have the <laughs> special treat bag over here. Look at that. Just so chow down Tell us grapes. about raccoons, Rachel. All right. Well, first I want to show you something cool that Jimmy does. Clap, Jimmy. Clap. Gotta get the treat first for him. Clap, Jimmy. Clap. Might not because of the balance. Clap. Oh, oh boy, look at that. Good boy. So great. So that is a behavior that Jimmy learned himself. Uh, and we just kind of took hold of it and was, uh, turned it into something good. A good behavior and he gets rewarded for it. Aww. So that is Jimmy's special superhero uh, power. <laughs> That's his power is clapping. clapping. Yes. Yay. Jimmy is super cool. So... How come raccoons wear a mask? It's because they're always stealing from the garbage? Yeah, so they don't want to be identified in a lineup uh -huh. when uh, they take away with stolen goods. But it actually, in reality, it helps them with the light and glare on their eyes when they're uh, wandering around. And also it helps raccoons recognize each other. Hmm. What do you think about spaghetti? How old is he, Brooke wants to know? Jimmy is 11 years old. Is that old for a raccoon? That's middle age. So oh, okay. he's going through his mid... Uh, middle age stage uh-huh um but they can live close to 20 years old and what's jimmy's favorite treat clearly not tortoise chow he so <laughs> likes it you're saying they can live 20 years old out in the wild oh uh, that no um they can live up to like four years in the wild um 20 years in a place like gatorland so here at gatorland they can live 20 years versus four years in the wild up to yep so wow a lot of things in the wild that you come across is like cars you might see them unfortunately on the side of the road i don't know why i keep trying with the tortoise chow he's not gonna eat it um Just but there's, in the water. yeah there's cars uh traffic kits um sometimes if they get caught in the dumpsters uh, logan but, wants to know if there's anything he doesn't like to eat he doesn't like a lot of fruits. He is very picky eater. He only likes grapes. Um, so he's very picky with his fruit and vegetables. He's more of a snacky junk food kind of guy. Mm. Are most raccoons snacky junk food kind of guys <laughs> or just Jimmy? I know, Cameraman Dan's a snack food junkie kind of <laughs> guy. Snack I know food that. i girl. Um, but they like to get really oh, anything. They'll eat, they might go through your trash, get some pizza. I bet Jimmy would like pizza. Um, so they eat a wide variety of foods. They also like, they're an omnivore, so they eat almost anything. He'll go and he'll go fishing for some fish. Oh, okay, are you he's, asking he's, for something? He's, he's like, uh, hey, hey, keep them grapes coming, Rachel. Yeah. So where did Jimmy come from? He came from... Um, Jimmy! <laughs> bye, Jimmy, but I have some good stuff for you. Come back. Um, Jimmy came from a place down south. He was a donation. Oh, a lot, now... Like a lot of our animals here at Gatorland. So... I hear that they're really good at washing their hands. They like to wash their hands a lot. They like to wash And, and they were doing that before they were telling all of us to wash our hands, yeah, right? Yeah, so they knew about washing their hands and how important it is before we, I guess, kind of did. So what is it about washing their hands? What, so what what's they happening is they there? they take their food, and usually they're finding stuff along the streams. Like, Jimmy will go in here, and he'll pick up some clams, uh, some fish he'll find. So he's feeling the food that he found. So he'll come into his stream here. Yeah, let's see if we can get him in here. All right, yeah, and he'll look for clams. Clams, uh, snails, fish. And he washes the food before he eats it. And it looks like he's washing it. What he's doing is he's feeling the food. He's kind of gathering all the information that that food is telling them whether he's going to like it or not, what it feels like if he takes off any parts he doesn't like to eat. Mm -hmm. um, so all that's right. what he's actually doing. What do you have in there that's going to make him come in the water? I have right? an egg, but he disappeared. He's up me. on top. He's on the roof. Oh, he has his rooftop view where he looks over the park. <laughs> all 
I have a raw egg for Jimmy. Yeah. Come get it. That's his favorite? It's one of his favorites. Yep, he likes to crack it open and lick all the yolk inside. You see it? Come on. Come on, Jimmy. Come on, Jimmy. Jimmy's not used to having so many people He's in like, I have so many no, visitors. Like, uh, this is my bachelor pad. What are y'all doing in here? Come here, Jimmy. Come on. Amanda wants to know how many raccoons do we have? We have one raccoon. We have Jimmy. Jimmy's the raccoon that gets all of our attention. Aw. Now, raccoons that don't live at Gatorland, should people or kids ever try to touch them or feed them or any of those kinds of things? Absolutely not. You probably shouldn't really try and touch or feed any wild animal. Um, they obviously bite. Anything with a mouth bites, it hurts. They don't uh, necessarily, they're kind of afraid of you as well. So it's not a good idea to mm. feed anything. You can give it to him up there if you Come want, Rachel. Right? Yeah. If he wants to eat it up there. Now, Haley that? wants to know if they eat bugs. Uh, sometimes they might eat bugs. I'll give them a grape first. You want that? There you go. Now, is uh, Jimmy kind of a solitary fellow? He is. He has his whole bachelor pad to himself. Um, so he is living the life. Mm. Sometimes raccoons only really hang out with each other if they're looking to get a mate. Otherwise, they, they prefer to be kind of alone? Yep, they hang out gotcha. by themselves. Yeah, sometimes I'm oh, like that too. Oh! The egg just rolled off the roof. <laughs> well, I think he still has it. Of course he's hiding. Let's see if I can see him. I got him. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> What's he doing there? I can't see. I'm just kind of holding it up so on the roof. So he broke the egg with his canines. Okay. And now he's going to lick up all the yolk. Oh, boy. Anyone out there eating breakfast right now with Jimmy? He's having eggs. Who else He's is having, having eggs? eggs? Who's having eggs this morning? All right, we'll put it back on Rachel so I can read some questions. All right. So how? someone's asking again, how old is he? He is 11 years old. Okay. Yep. And how many people work with Jimmy here? Uh, about eight people work with Jimmy. I'm probably forgetting someone, but... April <laughs> wants to know if there's anything they shouldn't eat, but they try to eat anyway. Hmm. They shouldn't eat strawberries and avocados. Those are uh, foods that aren't really, they kind of have a allergen reaction to a lot of animals. So we stay away from those things. Right. Um, but other than that, Jimmy can really eat whatever he wants. Wow. He's an omnivore. He eats meat, uh, vegetables, fruit, snacks. Which is one of the reasons why they like knocking over garbage cans because <laughs> everything they want yes. is, is in there. Their hobby is dumpster diving. Yeah, Jimmy was asking uh, another Jimmy. The, oh. Not this Jimmy. No, not this uh, Jimmy. A Jimmy on here okay. was asking if it's true that they eat out of trash cans and we see it all the time yes. here at Gatorland. <laughs> that, Absolutely. That, yes. that they're, we're actually on a swamp so raccoons are all over the place yes. and they will get into our trash cans like yes. all the time. All the so, time. No, I'm not going to ask that question. I changed my question. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Is Jimmy vocal at all, Monica wants to know? Uh, Jimmy does some little, like, sniffing sounds is what it sounds like he's doing. He's just checking you out, uh, checking new people, seeing what's going on. But uh, other than that, and that's about it. I feel like a raccoon climbing in this <laughs> enclosure right now. You're still going to town on that egg. So do they make noises? They'll do, like, a little sniff, kind of sounds like a hiss, but he's just sniffing you. Uh, checking out his surroundings. Gotcha. Is he still eating the egg? I think he's just about he's done. He's now looking at me. He's looking at me. Yeah, Mew just said he's an adorable yeah. trash panda. Do you, <laughs> we don't like to call them trash pandas, though. Right? Or do we? Uh, we call him trash panda. <laughs> we do call him trash <laughs> he panda. He might not be a trash panda. He's a high-class uh, luxury raccoon. Here. Isaiah wants to know. Isaiah always has great questions. How much does Jimmy weigh? He weighs probably about, I'd say, 15 pounds. 15 pounds. Yeah. And Very do they good. fatten up in the wintertime and then they get skinny in the summertime, like beach bod style? Uh, Jimmy stays fat all year round. No, he doesn't. Uh, but they get they gain weight during the winter down. and they have a nice thick fur uh, coat to keep them warm. How are they as pets? Uh, they are not good pets. Not um, good I pets. I wouldn't really recommend any wild animal as a pet. Um, so that's a, that's a no-go. So as adorable as they are, they are not good pets. No, nope. come to a place like Gatorland that, uh, has them, uh, oh. and you can see him and checking out them. He's checking us out. He's sniffing. Oh, what do you think? Uh, 
What do you think, Jimmy? Oh my gosh, though, how adorable is that? Jimmy, you want another grape? Now, does Jimmy ever Spider-Man off the top of this big habitat he lives in? He sure does. He does laps around. He gets his exercise. Well, he'll go upside down <laughs> around the whole roof of the exhibit, and he has a theme song. What he has is a it? theme song? He has oh, a theme song. Let's so hear the theme song. So not only is he a superhero, he has a superpower, and he has a super song. Let's hear the song. Okay, it goes, Spider-Coon, Spider-Coon, does whatever a Spider-Coon does. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's pretty good. So we sing that the whole lap, he's going upside down. Uh, All right, it's been suggested that I kiss him, but Donnie is the one who kisses animals, the animals, yeah. not not Dan. Yeah. So yeah, we. I, I don't think I'll be, oh, here he comes. Oh, look at that. Oh. He also has a full name that's not just Jimmy. What What's is his it? full name? His full name is Jimothy Ray Coon. For real? <laughs> yeah. That's on his birth certificate? Yes. Oh, wow, how about that? Now, are there, oh, this is a good question. Wait, I got to go back and see who asked it. Uh, Isaiah, of course, it was Isaiah. <laughs> Isaiah wants to know if their whiskers are important to them like a cat. They are important. They get a lot of their senses through their whiskers. They can feel things. They uh, get some vibrations, uh, helps them know what's going on around them, and they can feel. Okay, well, now that Boss Man suggested the kiss, everyone's asking about kisses. But I don't know if we're going to be doing that today. <laughs> so, Rachel, thank you so yeah, much. Thank, thank you, Rachel. Rachel. Thank, thank you, Jimmy. Jimmy. Bye, Jimmy. That thank was you. Awesome. All right, guys, don't forget to post your questions, pictures. I did get a macaroni picture frame yesterday. I appreciate that. We're going to do some shout outs right now from Cameraman Dan. All right, hold on. Here we go. So, hello to Caden. Kevy and his brothers, Isaiah and Ryan, all the way in England. Head to the School of Croc Facebook group to see great posts by Terry, Rick and Heather, Tanya, plus some awesome artwork by Hope, Vincent, Porter and Chloe. And thank you for the lovely card, Jessica. Check out our School of Croc t-shirt model, Charlie from Minnesota and Hayden. All right, guys, well, don't forget to post your awesome photos, videos, pictures, uh, uh, whatever you guys want to make in our School of Croc Facebook group. We appreciate you guys being there, being here with us. And uh, if you want your own School of Croc t-shirt, you need to make sure that you click that merch link. We would love it. And we will see you guys again tomorrow at 10 a.m. Same Croc time, same Croc channel. Bye, Jimmy. See you later.